It's probably not a surprise we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2 just because we cover all the latest stuff happening with the platform here at Nintendo Prime. But one thing that might be surprising is today we have a little bit of confirmation on some technology that's going to be likely implemented and seemingly confirmed in some way here to be implemented into the Nintendo Switch 2 system and how it functions. So we have an update on that. And on top of that, there is an old rumor from a couple months ago that we need to revisit because something has surfaced from one of the most reliable insiders in the world that has really got me very confident about exactly when Nintendo is going to be releasing, not revealing, but releasing Nintendo Switch 2. So, First, we need to get into this piece of technology stuff that was pointed out by Doc Trey 81 So, Samsung obviously has been a partner with Nintendo on various components, but Samsung is not a partner currently in the capacity that we're going to be talking about here. And this is because of a profile of a Samsung employee that Dotre81 discovered that has some very interesting information on something Samsung was working on years ago that has nothing to do with the current Switch. So let's go ahead and look at that. And what you're seeing here is this post here from a senior director of Samsung Electronics Device Solution Division, SLSI Business Security, Security Device Development Team. And you'll see that this is from 2019. Now, this is still notable because of some stuff that they're talking about. So key qualifications and responsibilities. So he led the NAND flash controller device for a Nintendo game card. So we're talking about the cartridges design with 15 plus design engineers. Now, I want to note here that this is actually extremely important because Samsung is actually not the company that develops the chips that are used inside the current Nintendo Switch game cards. So the fact that they were working on a controller for a device related to a Nintendo game card, yet uh, Nintendo doesn't use Samsung for their game cartridges, lets you know that this was for a future device, not a current one. All right, getting back into this, we'll see. They also led a security device with a SIM card, banking, and EPP card, NFC, MCU-based design with 40-plus design engineers, and they interviewed security hardware IP. Now, here are the key achievements. This is the part we have to look at. They developed a new EPP card, an NFC ESE one chip based on a 49 or 45 nanometer process, which, of course, that's not going to be something used inside a game cartridge. Then they developed a secure EMMC card with Samsung Memories V5 NAND flash. Now, if you don't know what the NAND flash is, that V5 NAND flash is actually a form of 3D NAND. And it's been widely reported and speculated that Nintendo Switch 2 cartridges would be using some form of 3D NAND flash, which stacks things differently, is much more power efficient, yet at higher storage capacities, and even cheaper to manufacture than the current Nintendo Switch cartridges. So that's actually really cool. Allows Nintendo to have higher capacity cartridges, which is going to be needed. And obviously, you know, not installing games because you have faster read speeds would be Welcome. So that's really cool. Now, look, the V5 NAND flash stuff is something that was developed in 2018, started getting mass produced in 2020. And it's not the current version, by the way. They're actually up to version 8 as of the end of, I think, 2022 or 2023. Maybe they're on version 9 or working on version 9. The point is that it's not their current version. And chances are that this was just what they had available at the time. Nintendo, if they did choose Samsung, for their 3D NAND, for their cartridges, likely chose version 6 or 7. You know, something that's the cheapest to mass manufacture. But the point of this post isn't so much to point out which version they might be using. It's really just to point out that this is the closest thing we have to confirmation on something hardware-specific with Nintendo Switch 2, and that is that they were at least looking into using 3D NAND with their future game cartridges. So, look, before it was just speculated and guessed at, now we actually have some direct evidence that Nintendo was putting in research and development being pitched by different companies. So that's really cool, and I'm pretty excited about that. And look, if that's all we had today, that would be the video. We would just end there. But we actually have something else going on today because of something I noticed. Uh, just a, a, It's kind of a strange thing. You see, we have this insider known as Midori. Now, she is very well known. She's considered as reliable as Pioro. If you know Pioro from Nintendo Direct Leaks, Midori is considered that level of leaker, but for Atlas and Sega, and has a really damn good track record, as I said. 
on the level of Pioro. And she said something a couple months ago that the initial part uh, was definitely quoted in something I noticed, but she followed up what she said with something very interesting. Now, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 internal delay. Remember, rumored platform, rumored delay, hard to confirm any of this stuff. But there was a report from Nick Kay that suggested, well, you know what? I don't actually want to sit here and tell you. I'll show you. So this is the Nick Kay place, and this is their article. And they literally say in their tweet about it, that, hey, Nick Kay, a special report, Nintendo Switch successor to be released as early as March of 2025. And again, other reports said that as well, which makes you to think, look, it could release in March of 2025, but Nintendo is willing to release it in summer or fall, etc. So it's not really a firm date of anything. And look, Midori basically confirmed this as well, noting that, hey, it is correct information. All right, so it's correct information, right? So what are we talking about then? Why do we need to uh, get into this even more? Because after all, Midori just said, yeah, that's correct. It is just targeting, uh, but could release later than March of 2025. Well, that's because there was this response as well. So you see the original tweet. Now here's the response. It is information that was sudden to publishers, and it is a unique situation. I do not have information on hardware announcement plans, Nintendo titles, or hardware information. March 2025 is a firm date. It is the release timing we are aware of from last week. Look at this. Firm date. I'll, let me repeat this again. March 2025 is a firm date. Now, you keep in mind how reliable Midori is on top of the fact that Midori has not updated this stance since saying it. It doesn't look like Nintendo is, quote-unquote, going to release it at the earliest of March of 2025. No, 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 no. Nintendo's current plan is we are delivering this platform March 2025. Now, look, that is a lot more bold of a statement than anything else that we've gotten during those delay segments. So March 2025, I know, is when a lot of people might have expected them to release it. But again, it wasn't being rumored as some firm thing unless you paid attention to what Midori said. And honestly, I missed it. So this is my bad a couple of months ago that I missed this direct statement of firm date. So I just want to show you guys that and remind you that obviously this is all rumors. It could lead to nothing outside of the stuff from Dotra81, which is actually on somebody's LinkedIn profile at Samsung. So uh, that's a for sure thing that was at least happening behind the scenes. This is obviously something that, you know, is still a rumor that we can't confirm, but look, I'm just pointing out that that actually makes me even more confident that Nintendo will likely say something at their May 7th financial briefing, because that means if 2025 March was a firm date, that Nintendo Switch 2 is actually part of their future, or I should say current fiscal year forecast. And if it's part of that, Nintendo will likely make a mention of it on May 7th. So I am now just going to twiddle my thumbs and wait a couple weeks here and hope that Nintendo decides to at least mention, just mention a code name, mention it's coming out or the plan is to come out by the end of the fiscal year. Mention something, Nintendo, just give us that tiny little morsel. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Of course, you can like, subscribe, and all that to Nintendo Prime so you can be updated on the latest regarding Nintendo Switch 2 and all of Nintendo's current ongoings, whether it's through VG News or individual videos like this. And we'll catch you in the next video.